You know when you're like, when you make it really big, right? And your family will never have to starve ever again or be homeless. How do you simulate to the next generation how to come up? You don't. That's why my family lost their fortune. <laughs> what? Well, that's, that's also why there's it's like a lot to unpack. <laughs> So you guys know about Arson Schwarzenegger, right? And how he is related to Arson Schwarzenegger. Arson Schwarzenegger, Arson Schwarzenegger he, he's is related Arnold to Chris. Oh. He's related to Chris oh, yeah. Pratt. He is also right. saying Chris Pratt. So he is by how by marriage. So so yeah. Chris Chris <laughs> Pratt is is banging slash married to his daughter. Oh. oh, Chris Pratt is the son-in-law. Of Mr. Schwarzenegger. Yes. Okay. The governor. Yes. They're not, they're not There's no marriage involved. They're just banging. They're all banging Arnold hard. Arnold and they're Chris married are married to each other. Got it. <laughs> yeah, and they're banging. <laughs> no, no, he's married to his daughter, right? So, um, so they had kids together as well, right? Oh, cool. so, so, Sick. Yeah, Chris Pratt has kids with. He's a Schwarzenegger now, I guess. Okay. Celebrity royalty. Yes. She's so, a um, there, but there's, as always, with in-law situations, there's some disagreements on raising the kids. Friction. So check this out. Um, apparently, Arnold also is a big animal guy. Has a farm, has like a fucking donkey, has pigs, and all kinds of shit. Oh, I saw that's him, so I cool. saw him feed them. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Damn, that sounds fun. I saw him talking. Does he to like raise them to eat though? That would make sense. I don't know. It's a good question. No, he just likes to feed them and pick up their. Shit. He lets them in the house too. He he like lets his horse in the house. And shit. He's like kind the of a horse. Yeah. 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 So um, so they're playing around with these animals, right? The kids are, and he says they have a really great time, but he thinks that they're spoiled, right? Because he says when I took them to one of the stalls and asked them for help to shovel the manure, they said no, and Chris right away said, no, 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 they're not brought up to do that. <sighs> so how does that make us feel? Wait, so Arnold was like, go pick up the shit? Yeah, come help me scoop up the You shit. must come and help me pick up the pooponators. That's really good. Thank That's you. like a spot Thank on. You. That's, like AI. That's like AI. That's like AI. Where's Joe? <laughs> he disappeared. <laughs> I'll be back with a shovel. Oh my God. <laughs> it's amazing. Arnold? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That is crazy, right? So grandpa says, help me, yes. and dad is saying, no way. In my house, are you fucking kidding me? I'd fucking punch him in the face. Exactly. And i say, now you pick up Chris, bitch. The grandpa punches, <laughs> grandpa punches Chris, or Chris punches grandpa? No, no, I, grandpa, oh, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm still Arnold. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So many characters. You gotta, you gotta keep the voice, oh. that's why he got confused. Oh. For the whole video. I'd punch him in the face. Oh, shit. <laughs> so good. Yeah. And I tell him, you pick it up. <laughs> that sounds exactly like that's you. That's directly from you. True Lies. Yeah. yeah. So crazy. Um, so yeah, I mean, dude, in my house, there's no chance. No chance. Uh, <laughs> They're not raised to do that? I, what? They, he says they don't do that. Chris Pratt says do my that? kids don't do that. They don't s help grandpa? I'd be like, both of you'd pick it up now. I thought, because Chris Pratt, he's like a super right wing dude too. And usually right wing dudes are like hard work, you know, fucking struggle, whatever. Shovel shit. Oh, yeah, good for you later on. Pick up your bootstraps. Yeah. What do they do? I wonder if they do the opposite of that. Maybe maybe he's the cosplay right winger, like, you know those guys that say like, I'm a farmer, but like it's so technologically advanced that oh, they don't even yeah, touch the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, farm. Yeah. Yeah, they right. just like- It's like automated. They just cosplay mm. farmer yeah. shit, like where they wear like checkered shirts right. and wear cowboy boots, but they don't actually touch dirt. Yeah. Probably that. That, that is weird. It, it, anything that's like, if they're like playing with animals, that, you know what I mean? I think it's a valuable lesson to like see the other side of it at a young age, right? It's like if you're gonna enjoy petting yeah. the animal or yeah, riding the horse or whatever, and then you're like, okay, I also gotta shovel this shit. I feel like that's such an easy lesson for any kid to be like, whoa, there's like two sides set. Yeah, you don't just nice. own the pet, yeah. you have to take care of the pet. Yeah. Can you imagine having Arnold as your freaking father in law and you're like, nah? <laughs> I would be so scared shitless at all times of that dude. Like, but he's Star-Lord. You, you think Arnold True. was so shocked that he had to call the tabloids and rat on his son? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, how did this news how, break? How, right. right. So it came, th he, was on, he was on the Jimmy Fallon show. Who, Arnold was Arnold or Chris Pat? Oh, Arnold okay. was, yeah. And he told the story about how they're spoiled little shits. Oh, oh shit, yeah. damn. Yeah, that's pretty fucking far out, yeah. though. That's a long, that's a I want to hear how yeah, he said it. Is. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, Joe, how do you say it? How did, he, how did he say it on the show? 
Here, I'll be. So, I'll so how's, my, how's I'll family? My, yeah, I'll, yeah, do, yeah, I'll do my Fallon. <laughs> so, like Arnold, like what's, yeah, yeah, what's going on? Oh, the other day, I tried to ask my grandchildren to go outside with me and pick up the manure, and they said, "Oh, my daddy doesn't want me to do that." <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It's the bouncy thing. Yeah, the, the, yeah. If, if, if somebody came in at the exact moment, they wouldn't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> if they came in the middle of the video, they're like, what the fuck is going on? Two guys are having a stroke in here. Nobody's helping. <laughs> Nobody's help and everyone's just laughing at them. Why are they laughing at them? Uh, yeah, so I, I mean, dude, my sons are not oh, raised to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is one of those this is one of those articles that basically jumped out to me as everyone in this room would probably be like, oh, holy shit, no way. It is really funny. Yeah, because they're, cause they're both, uh, both of them are, came from nothing and to something. Chris Pratt was homeless, became a huge Hollywood star. Uh, he came from- Was he really? He was homeless? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Arnold came from like a super small village in Austria and he like through bodybuilding moved to Germany, did all that, and then became a huge superstar, and then became a governor. So I feel like they would have the same value. I, I want to defend my buddy Chris Pratt, right? Okay. Like, I think when you achieve a certain point and you don't gotta fucking live like that anymore, then you're allowed to step on other people and look down at where you used to be. Okay. So he goes, I worked this hard and came out of poverty, mm -hmm. so my kids don't ever have to do the shit that I had to do. Right, and so then you hire a shit shoveler and you call him a shit shoveler yep. the whole time. And you go, children, this is what we do. Yeah, and you point. say, you don't touch the broom, he touches yeah. the broom. And then you say, hey, shit shoveler, time to do back to work, dude. Yep. Time to touch the broom. Are we on break? What are we right. doing? We're not shoveling shit anymore? And then you teach them the value of efficiency. Uh -huh. You pay yeah, these yeah, fucking yeah. low lives yeah, yeah. to yeah. do the things you don't want to do. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. go, see, we don't have to do that anymore, sons. Mm -hmm. You know when you're like, when you make it really big, right? And your family will never have to starve ever again or be homeless. How do you simulate to the next generation how to come up? You don't. That's why my family lost their fortune. <laughs> what? Well, that, that's also why there's there's a lot, a lot to unpack. Yeah, that's a lot there. Anyways, um, so there, there's also a lot of those stories about like those Hollywood celebrities and stuff that like with all their fortune they won't give fucking money to their kids. Or yeah, Buffett, all. but apparently Buffett's not doing that. Yeah, yeah and he's doing Mr. Also. Buffet. You can't all you can eat with him. That. Jackie Chan. But yeah. then yeah, like, Jackie Chan said, fuck you. The funny thing is that like, so I've had friends that have been those kids where they're, they know their lineage is super wealthy, but they don't get anything. And it's not, it's still not the same, I guess like, you're, they're just simulating hard work so that they just spend their whole life pissed about it. You know what I mean? Mm. They're not like trying to, they're actually working really hard and, and acting like they're gonna starve. They know they won't. They're just mad that the shortcut is being up like held away from them. Oh, because they know they're going through like because they know what they know what exists. Oh. It's not it's not the same as if you are, are actually broke. Like you know yeah. you have a safety yeah. net. I think that makes like a weirder upbringing because it's like you know it's there. You know there's millions in the bank. You just yeah. can't have it. Well, that's like how Shaq says to his kids. He's like we're he's like we're not rich. I'm rich. And, yeah. But then his kids still live in like a 26 <laughs> bedroom fucking mansion. He's still picking them up in the best fucking it's cars. Like, if you dude. say so, dude, I guess I'm not rich. But, but then like, how do you make the effective, like my question is how do you really do it? If you're like, like how do you make Taika feel like, you know, like how do you, with the same values that you got working super hard against like nothing. You know? Well, I don't know. Cause right now he's still like in kids brains land. So right now, which is tight, is uh, every time he does something good, it is like he's monetarily incentivized. Yeah. So when he you know does scores points in basketball, he gets money. Um, he'll get like a point for every takedown submission, and if he does well in his behavior chart, it's like a dollar or whatever. Yeah. And then he's been able to make up to almost a hundred bucks a month, and he'll like he'll save it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll save up all this money. He's only six. Yeah, he's only. Brian's like, how do you make it so that he doesn't know yeah, that he's it, rich? Tag <laughs> is like, I just shoot basketballs, dude. <laughs> but what's crazy is because he has all this money, but he, but because he has kids' brains, yeah, he'll see me get something, and I'm like, hmm, should I get that? He'll like, Papa, I'll pay for it. Like, I know you don't have the money. I have a hundred bucks. <laughs> 
<laughs> he thinks you're so broke. Tonight. In his brain, he's richer than me, which is crazy. You're not putting up hoops. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I wonder how long he'll this will like keep up for before he goes, wait, all my money came from dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, for the rest of his life he'll go, yeah, my dad had it rough when I was a kid. Uh, I used to have to pay for everything. It's... Yeah, I, the water bill's on me this month. It was rough. Every time I'm going up for another basket, I'm like, I better make this. I always find I always find it interesting to like, like uh, he's taking it from you. <laughs> I wonder if you if the the most effective way to replicate growing up without nothing is to lie and really make it seem like you're poor. Yeah. Then how then come you, I have to suffer? Yeah, exactly. I want to fly business class. <laughs> But, then so you're, no but now I gotta fly with the cargo yeah. and the chickens. That's why I think like eat, like if if uh, Chris Pratt was to be like yeah shovel shit to do the exact opposite, it's almost just a facade anyway because they know who they, they are. don't have to. Yeah, it's like they know who they are, so you might as well just be like yeah don't shovel shit. You're just wrong either way. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's either it's either gonna be a farce or it's just a brutal truth. But if you learn you're too good for something, I don't know. I think I'm out. I'm out on that. I, I think I'm out on that. Cause, cause like, yeah. like, that's true. I could never imagine like looking down on someone who does a certain type of job because I was taught to never ever think like that. Yeah. Cause so. there's a difference between you can do it, but then for efficiency's sake, we, we'll pay, and then you, you know, and then you can substitute. Yeah, it's know, not like course, beneath you. Uh, yeah, yeah, but then when it's beneath you, because to me it's they're like just morally lower. Yeah. yeah, they're just tasks. There's yeah. things that need to be done in the world. Like right? my first job was I was a janitor at my dad's business and like I was like doing the janitor shit. Yeah. So it was like explosive literally. diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's also like that thing where it's like um, when some people don't mm -hmm. want to like eat something that they've never tried so they have no idea. They just think they're not going to like it. It's like it's better to try everything and know that you don't like it. You know what I mean? Than to like never try it and always avoid it because oh, it just gives you appreciation. Yeah, it sounds weirdly insecure. Like my kids don't shovel manure like that's just what are you talking about i don't understand <laughs> like putting meaning behind tasks in like that depth to, to where then now you attach people like being, being like low or like like now it gives you an okay to disrespect other people right that's what i think because they're doing yucky things and i'm not doing we don't it. do that yeah. yeah that's what it sounds like it sounds like he's on purpose, crafting them to be those kinds of people for what he believes is a higher existence. With like, oh, you're, you're not made for that. Like, you're gonna do this instead. And it's almost like some people believe that you only have access to the higher things if you look at the lower things as fucking beneath you. Well, I wonder if his kids do any other type of chores. Or maybe it was just this something specifically that. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Like when you say they don't do that, what do they what do? What do they do? They yeah, yeah the do they do other the chores? Do they have yeah. other structures? Yeah. Right. Uh, or they're beefing on like a fucking basketball team. That's what I'm and thinking And they're using too. the kids to have the fight. Yeah, yeah. No, like, fuck the Bulls, fuck the Lakers. Yeah, 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 they go, oh, yeah. go shovel the shit. They don't shovel shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking <laughs> Chicago Bulls lover. Or yeah. Whatever. Maybe he just, maybe he just don't like them. Between them. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. kids are just a part yeah, of it. The kids it. are just like, what's going on? I want to play yeah. with the pony. So Arnold goes on foul. He's like, I'm going to talk shit on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he just raised the bar. Maybe he just literally. It's more just petty like than him. we think. It's, yeah. yeah. And then really, it's just marketing for their new film that they're collaborating on. Yeah. yeah. Damn it, they we're, got us. We're the idiots. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, but it's also nice to think Chris Pat is a snob. I, I know. I love it. I love hating celebrities. I love hating on celebrities. Dude. <laughs>